Thank you. I think we should include also other countries, particularly Dubai. I have constituents uh, before they leave, they ask me, Meron ba kayong kailala sa Bureau of Immigration kasi kinakabahan ko at baka upload kami. Uh, I don't know how the Bureau uh, decides uh, which uh, Filipinos or Filipinas to be uploaded in the it, uh, it appears to be arbitrary, very arbitrary. And I don't think the immigration should decide on the right to travel of uh, Filipinos and Filipinas. And I, I would tell mine who used to be the, the commissioner of the CID, Commissioner Al Fernandez. He never attempted to stop anybody from traveling. <coughs> according to him, it is his uh, constitutional right. It's guaranteed by our constitution, the right to travel. But see that they have done too far. They are providing our fellow Filipinos and at the time of their departure. Nangyayari doon. Kaya nalasan eh, nangyayari. Hindi makaalis yung... They have paid for the ticket, hindi nakaalis. Ano wala namang problema. Sometimes, mali pa. Yung profiling nila. Hindi naman OFW. They just happen. Mukha lang ano, mukha ng OFW lang. Yes, I'm going to start with the music thing. I'd like to clarify this. This is one of the mechanisms of the Inter-Agency Committee Against Trafficking. This is part of the Gala. If he is a member of this committee, along with the Department of Justice, private labor, and of course, your actions. This is a good line over the issue of the... This allows... Let's use a BI of your information. May request for the affidavit of support of some children filling in for Mr. Trafficks. It may not specify a business destination or going to Macau, going to Dubai. Yeah, but this is not the law. This is not the law. This is not the law. So, erasing the Vinyan Sings, but committing a mortal sin. Because by reading the Constitution, it's a mortal sin. Trying to solve a small problem. So, who did I run? In the case that in the Supreme Court actually, what they're doing is actually discriminating our own people. No, it's our chairs. It's our chairs. Yes. This is the reason why we are concerned, because we do not want our own compatriots not to be traveling and then at the last minute we offload it or having relatives who are not sure that they can leave at the time they want to leave simply because they are not sure that they will be subjected to this kind of a requirement because it's arbitrary. It may or it may not impose the affidavit of support from the relatives concerned. So, uh, I'm glad also that uh, Representative Goles raised this issue. It may not only be in the case of Macau, but also in other places that are destinations of our OWs <coughs> or tourists uh, who really just want to travel, who can afford to travel, but who have this sort of Damocles over their heads because they don't know when uh, this affidavit uh, will be required in the question chair. Yes, Mr. Chair, you said is uh, referred to a passport? Yes. Uh, uh, and uh, it seems that the uh, Bureau of Immigration uh, is uh, taking these actions requiring uh, additional documents and so on uh, in the name of uh, trying to combat human trafficking. And he was, he was uh, the USEC was reading, uh, I think, from some uh, guidelines. May the committee be provided with a copy of those guidelines. And also, um, could, could, could uh, the, the USEC also uh, give, give us uh, a bit more information on the, the work that the DFA is doing in this task force? So, so we have some idea of the scope and the powers that this task force, task force has in, in relation to the matter of human trafficking. 
many providers. Yes, uh, Your Honor, uh, I would like to ask, uh, because the department is represented in the YACAT by the uh, Secretary for Migrant Workers. Yeah, with the uh, Secretary of Problems in a better way, but not suppressing your rights. 